My dear brothers and sisters, as we journey through this time of preparation, the liturgy on the third Sunday of Advent invites us to rejoice. Why? It is because God becoming one among us, which Advent enables us to look forward to, is the only source of true and lasting joy. Genuine Christian faith does not make us long-faced, rather, it should make us enthusiastic and happy. Well, what is it that will bring us joy and happiness? Anything good that we possess brings about joy. But all the good things in this world, apart from God, are temporary and fragile. Money, success, health, even friendship and being in love all these things are limited. If circumstances change or with the passage of time, we either become tired of them or they just go away. And so, the joy that comes from possessing them is only a temporary joy. But our hearts are thirsty for a joy that will never go away. Where do we find this joy? Of course, we find lasting joy in God and only in God. The first reading of today, the prophet Isaiah reminds us about this truth. I rejoice heartily in the Lord, in my God is the joy of my soul, for he has clothed me with the robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice. None of our personal achievements should distract our attention from God and his plan for us. When we are totally focused on God, we feel compelled to eliminate from our personal lives all duplicity, vanity and inflated self-esteem. We begin to live in the truth. We learn to do this from John the Baptist who without any difficulty admitted, I am not the Christ, I am not the Messiah, I am not one of the old prophets come back to life, I am not the new Moses of Israel's expectations. I am merely a voice crying in the wilderness. I am here to prepare the way for the Messiah. There was no duplicity in him. How can we possess this joy? We can possess true and lasting joy only by cultivating a disposition to acknowledge God's goodness in all circumstances of our lives. Saint Paul, writing to the Christians in Thessalonica, advised them, Rejoice always! Pray without ceasing. In all circumstances, give thanks. For this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. This doesn't mean that we have to spend all day on our knees. But it does mean that we have to spend quality time alone with God every day. We need to simply shut the door to life's hustle and bustle for 10 to 15 minutes. We need to speak heart to heart with our Creator and Lord. And then, throughout the day, we have to keep that conversation going in our hearts. When the task seems beyond us, let us remember that we are working for a future that is rooted in God. And let us learn from the Baptist that the effectiveness of our life and mission will depend upon the selfless commitment we have made to accomplish God's plans in our individual lives. God bless you.